We're hiking in Gatineau Park. Is this a vlog? Yes. <laughs> this is Lock Meach. I want to take a picture. Oh my gosh. Wait, where was the hole? Maybe I can walk across this. You might, you might fall. Oh my god. Oakley. Careful. I feel like it's gonna break if you're on it. Oh my gosh. Okay, if Oakley can do it, I can do it. No, 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 no. That's what I did like when I went rafting. That's how I broke my face. Oh my goodness! Oh my goodness! This is so cool. Oh my god! Look, look, he just shot the trap out of the thing! He just shot the Look, okay, come on! Come on! Get it! Come on! Let's go! Come on! Let's go! Oakley, you have to escape! He's like, no, I want to leave. I don't know how he just did that. Come on! I don't know how he just did that. <laughs> he, he doesn't like it. Hello. Hello, we're at the farmer's market. <laughs> Bubba Oaks. He's here. Oh my god, there's maple cotton candy in the Wait, where? Oh, Should we get some? Yeah. Maple cotton candy. Maple cotton candy. Yes. Maple cotton candy right there. See, that kid just got some. Okay, we'll do a round. Okay, yeah. <laughs> oh my god, my tail is swift. You belong with me. You belong with me. Bob Ross paint night. Okay, how are we coming? Yeah. This is Bob Ross's a final product. And then this is my blob of color. It's 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 cute. It's you abstract. It's abstract. And then this is Laura. Mine is impressionist. Yes, exactly. <laughs> you can imagine whatever you would like this. It looks like a snowman. It's a, it's a river, Lily! <laughs> it's a river. <laughs> Oakley, great shot, great shot. Oh my goodness! Oh, Oakley, no, come on! Good boy, good boy! Oh my goodness! <laughs> Happy boy! Oakley, Oakley! Oh my goodness! Oh my goodness! <laughs> He's scared of the water. He's drinking. He's got one hand foot on the steering wheel, the other on my heart. Oh my gosh, from Maine to Ottawa to Marka. <laughs> <laughs> Oakley's just straight chilling. He's so happy. Hi everyone, I'm back in Markham and I went biking with my mom um, behind Milne and we stopped at this little area because there's so many yellow leaves. And yeah, I went back to Ottawa for about a week because I'm working for my university food bank so I had to do some things on campus. And it was nice, so nice seeing my roommates in Oakley again. And we went like hiking in Gatineau there. And, but it was also midterm season, so it was just like a lot of sitting at the living room table, just grinding it out. So now I'm back and it's my reading week. 
I think I'm just gonna go biking a lot more and then catch up on some lectures and projects. But yeah, gotta go out and bike more and be in nature before it snows. Today is November 22nd and it has been snowing all morning, so it's been really, really pretty. But the COVID cases are getting worse. Tomorrow, Monday, Toronto and Peel are going back to lockdown. And York Region is still at the red zone. Today, York had 130 new cases and Toronto and Peel had over 400 new cases. Apparently, in the um, coming months of 2021, it's gonna be a vaccine. So hopefully things are better by the end of 2021. But yeah, each day in Ontario, there's like 1,000 new cases. So yeah, we'll see how it goes. Today is December 10th and I just came out to get some mail and I saw the sunset and it was such a nice surprise. So pretty. Look at that. Wow. Today is December 16th and I'm going on a little walk to take a break from studying and I'm covered from head to toe with only my eyes peering out. Everyone, it is December 27th and I bought a yoga ball a while back but I never used it and I'm putting on like a YouTube video and I thought it'll be funny you watch, uh, for you to get watch me struggle. So let's see how this goes. Hi everyone, it is December 31st, which is New Year's Eve, and I'm doing my makeup right now for dinner with my family, so I thought I'd do a little chit chat. Um, I got my G2 in August, which I'm so thankful for, because I finally can drive. Um, so my brother said this store called Bruno's in Richmond Hill had good steak. So we, my dad and I drove up there, and I got some T-bone steak, and some mushroom and truffle sauce, yeah. That's for the pasta and then the steak we're gonna make. And I also got some stuff for a charcuterie board, like some salami um, and crackers and brie. So looking forward to that for dinner. And also I have such little brow hairs. Um, putting this on makes a huge difference. But yeah, 2020 has been, has been something, something we never expected. And I just thought I would like talk about some things I'm thankful for or grateful for just to talk a little bit more positively about this year, I guess, and reflect on it. Like, so the first thing I'm grateful for is getting my G2, even though I can't really drive much, I can drive to like the grocery store. Um, so that's still some practice because I got it recently. So hopefully I can get my G next summer because that's when my five year thing expires. And then... I'm grateful to be back home with my family and everyone's safe and healthy and I got a lot closer with my family, especially my mom. Um, and yeah, I feel like since I'm older, me and my mom have like more things to talk about. And yeah, I'm also really grateful for my friends because, um, you know, I read a lot about the same things over and over and over again. And I'm really grateful for everyone who is patient with me and listens to me talk about the same thing over and over again. And that's been really helpful, especially during quarantine, um, when I've just been in my room doing a lot of schoolwork and like um, other work. Because, and I'm really thankful I have a job um, now as well. I'm working part-time for my university's food tent center. So I'm really glad for that as well. 
Um, I guess in 2020, I learned that not everyone's gonna stay in your life and that's okay. And I have to accept that. And acceptance is a really, really big thing because I feel like once I have a connection with someone, I wanna continue that connection continue getting to know that person and have them in my life but not everyone's gonna stay people come and go and i just gotta accept that and i feel like i'm the type of person when like something a situation really bothers me or someone hurts me or whatever i keep like ruminating over about it over and over and over again and i keep replaying it in my head like just how my brain works and especially in quarantine and like lockdown and like during covid when i've just been in my room all the time and at home i just like like think about what happened um and yeah it's just just not the best to always like sit with these thoughts so i feel like what i really need to work on is like bring myself back to the present and just accepting what has happened like no matter how much i try to change the past try to rewrite that part i feel like i always try to like rewrite the ending to try to make myself feel better or like oh maybe this will happen instead and like think of an alternate ending to make myself feel better it just makes myself feel worse because that's like false hope that like the ending could have been any different so i feel like like i said before acceptance is a big thing i need to accept that like things happen um, not everyone's gonna stay in your life and just to move forward with that and just to look forward to um, better opportunities, better people that will come into your life. And I think it's just been hard because like we've been in lockdown in like 2021, like we're still, COVID is still gonna be around. So I guess it's just like not much to look forward to, not many like social interactions where I can like go out with people and like, yeah. But I am looking forward to COVID ending and the vaccines coming. So that should be good. So this is the final look. I always do this rose gold kind of look and I put a little bit of highlight. And now I'm gonna go set up the charcuterie board. So I got some brie, this charcuterie trio and some extra meat in case and also some water crackers i got some seafood and some steak on the table so far we have some appetizers tomatoes and broccoli and this is the best i could do for the charcuterie board so you know what's funny? Down here is an actual tomato that you can eat that are helping put oh the flowers here. This is my outfit. I'm wearing the same skirt I wore last year to the fifth social with Belinda. And also my slippers are part of the look. I guess it matches because it's pink. And got a haircut by Mama Huang a few days ago. Cheers. Boy, I'm going to 